guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to Raina's kingdom so in my next video i'm going to be talking a bit about my peru trip i'm going to tell you guys like basically how i booked my peru trip and everything because people ask me you know questions about me booking trips and you know how much they cost and so i'm going to share stuff like that with you guys but today, this video is about my trip to Thailand in 2022, November. Um, so that trip was phenomenal. I was there for about eight days. It was such a great place. I need to go back to see Bangkok. But while I was in Phuket, I did um, see the elephants, of course, which is what this video is about, as you can see from the title. So I went on Google google maps and i looked for an elephant park or sanctuary because i knew that i didn't want a place that had bad reviews i always check reviews um i make sure that they don't abuse the animals they don't seem harmed you know they don't ride the animals i personally don't think that people should be riding animals because how would you feel if someone is riding on your back all day you know so it's like i feel like animals they can't speak for themselves we don't know what they're saying you know they have their own way of communicating with each other and we don't know you know so i personally don't like to ride animals um and i know i didn't want to ride the elephants but you know i don't think there's anything wrong with feeding them bathing them touching them you know just don't harm them in any way so i knew i wanted to find a place that was like that like a sanctuary not where they keep the animals caged up you know like prisoners because they're animals they're supposed to roam free this is their home as much as it is ours you know just because we, we might be at the top of the food chain doesn't mean that we can't give animals respect because this is their home as well god created us and god created the animals so i wanted a place that treated the elephants with dignity and respect so i think that this place was the right place to choose the elephants didn't seem harmed they seem happy they seem fine they seem healthy you know they weren't underweight or anything um so yeah this elephant park it was called the bukit elephant park i think i'm saying it right i'm gonna put it down here um so yeah it was it was a great experience they allow you to to touch the animals um they sh they let them roam free and like this area you'll see it's like a, a grassy area with trees and everything very nature-esque really beautiful they have a place where they can get in the water you'll see that as well they let us feed them bananas first so first we feed them bananas um and then we like walk with them and we get to take pictures and touch them we watch them eat they eat a lot they do eat a lot <laughs> Um, so all the elephants that were that were there at this elephant park were all female um, because they said that the male elephants, they're a bit more money to maintain, they're a bit more costly. Um, African elephants tend, uh, tend to be bigger than Asian elephants. That's what they said. They said the African elephants are a bit more, you know, they're in Africa, you know, so they're probably a bit more defensive, I would say um asian elephants tend to be a bit more calm and you know smaller i guess um because of their environment you know different environments you know um so they said that these asian elephants were all female um and the cost of this i think was worth it so you'll see i'm going to show you guys the confirmation email first you'll see that next um so i booked it online i literally booked it the day before like while i was there in thailand so i booked it for november 7th 2022 and i booked it on november 6 2022 like literally the night before um you'll see that you'll see the confirmation email i literally booked it online you're allowed to pay upon arrival so i gave them cash upon arrival um it was 2700 thai baht which is approximately 72 us dollars which I thought it was worth it because you get to touch the animals, you get to feed the animals, you get you get lunch, you know, lunch is included. They also taught us about like rubber and like coconuts and how they make things, you know, by hand, you know, it's very cool. 
they give you some extras so i thought it was worth it um they also pick you up from your hotel you let them know what hotel you're staying and they pick you up in the morning and they drop you off you'll see that as well i was in like a van or something um so yeah it was really cool like i think it was very very worth the money um i would recommend it uh they also give you like these little crackers at the beginning and this tea that tea was so good like it was so good um and the food was pretty good too they give you a meal while you're eating you can like see the elephants like while you're eating so it was like really an amazing experience i would definitely recommend and make sure you find places that don't hurt the animals because that's a big thing like that's why we stopped going to the circus you know like because we found out that they were hurting animals and for me that's a deal breaker like i don't want to support a business that's hurting animals um because to me that makes you a crappy person so yeah so it was really really much worth it like i think that you you guys would definitely enjoy that experience the elephants were so sweet like they were so cute they feel very like like soft but their hair their fur because they have like light like a light layer of hair like they feel kind of like prickly a little bit but it doesn't hurt but yeah it was just like really amazing so let me know what you guys think um yeah so i like i said my next video will be about peru my next trip technically well it's still technically may but it's about to be june so June 17th, I'm leaving for Peru. I'm so excited. Well, first Bolivia and then Peru, but I'm like so excited. Everything is booked. I'm so ready. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I've been going through withdrawal because my last trip was my birthday trip in Jordan. And that was, I came back in March and I'm really itching for a new trip. And everything is booked. I'm so ready. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to give you guys the, the, the details on how I book my trips and everything. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Let me know what you think. I always appreciate your feedback and stay tuned for the next video.
Okay. I explain you a little bit about Anacin. Uh, the first one on the right hand is made eight years. She is 44 years, the female. And the second one here, her name Namgeo, 56 years, the female. This one, the third one, the smaller one, far side, she is 13 years, she is the younger one, female as well. And the last one, she look a little bit brown color. She is a very old, 74 years. Oh. We saw grandma, grandma, 74. Yeah. She is female. Yeah. And now they eat the pineapple. They eat pineapple. Uh, when they make the pineapple, they want to eat with the leg to make soft. So you will see how they eat the pineapple. They eat about 200 kilograms a day. 200 kilograms a day is quite a lot. Okay. So now I think we start to make photos one by one and uh, you want So the boots that I'm wearing, they are provided by the Elephant Park as well. They give you a locker to hold your stuff with a key um, or a, co a combination. I can't remember. But they give you a locker to hold your stuff. And then they provide you with the boots to borrow. Because um, you're going to be walking in like mud and dirt and stuff. So they let you borrow those boots, which I thought was pretty cool too. Own, walk slowly. Oh, <laughs> woman, own. Grandma. Grandma, grandma. Nam Kel, 56, 74, 44, 13. Come in. More close.
400 square, 400 square, no, no, 1,200 square meter is 203. How much is like the For one guy, maximum, they can do 253 for four, four hours, five hours. If you do faster, maybe it can be 500, 503 for four hours. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's difficult. It's yeah, difficult. Yeah. You need, you need minimum, you need minimum two minutes for one tree. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. You can count how many. You can touch a little bit, yes. Yeah? Touch, touch, touch. You put one minute, huh? one minute. You put together one minute. Oh, one minute. Oh, okay. Put together one minute, and you feel a little bit better. After the guy, he tapping on the tree. They're tapping on the tree already. Then you put the rubber. Then you touch the rubber. The rubber. Normally, if you don't put the credit on, they don't dry. They like liquid. They take slowly dry. It takes one day, but one day to get hard. To get harder. One day. So if you put with acid, the acid, the candle. Only 10% they get in harder, but if it maybe wet a little bit, I cannot show you because it's too soft. Too soft. Normally, normally when, you, when you get the rubber harder, you can make the rubber tube like this. Yeah, you just put in a machine, you put in a roll machine, a roll machine, and maybe like this, and then you put another one to dry. Next side, like this. And then you dry in the sun about one or two bit. And then the same color. This color is from nature. This still, this still has the color, you don't see. You can see from here. Yeah, the still have a color, just the outside. And then, yeah. So when, when they want to make a uh, in the booth, you can taste this one also. Okay, I'll show you. You need a knife. Not, not keep this. You hit the needle. You lock the needle and until the crack. You get more, you grab in the back of the needle. Okay. So. Very hard. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. 
get the milk of the milk. It's not even inside. Yeah? Normally, if you have warm water, it's better. You get more oil. More oil. This is just oil. They needed a volunteer, you know, someone to cook some Thai cuisine. So, of course, I volunteered. You know, I stepped up. You know, I made a good, a delicious Thai dish. It was so much fun. They gave us so much food, like fruit and rolls, spring rolls and everything. It was so good. And then the cute elephants came and we got to eat and watch them swim in the water and cool off. <laughs> 